morning YouTube here we are bright and early getting ready to go pour some concrete today we got a couple youngsters coming in today got a 16 year old boy and a 22 year old man seen my dad spraying the buggy with diesel fuel with a uh, form oil um, it keeps the concrete from sticking to it so easily all right we're putting the buggy on I know them boys might be young and inexperienced but it's nice not having to worry about if they're gonna show up or not they ain't made it to the age where they got on drugs yet and alcohol so here's what it is today five and a quarter yards form liners um, 10 a.m. and shout out cash concrete. But anyway, we got five and a quarter yards coming What I'm doing is just sitting here waiting for Juan to pull up uh, Reese is here. Mike will be here. My dad. He's not really a finisher. He's an old man Mike's an old broke down truck driver, too. So We're gonna be in trouble today. I think I'm the youngest or I'm not the youngest, but I'm the youngest finisher Juan doesn't know how to finish yet, but he is a natural at concrete What do you say? Hello, mr. George how much you pay for the for the new guy? Going up on the job. You can see my dad and Reese are putting the plywood on the truck. It's on the Georgia buggy to put it, bring it around back. Such a tight squeeze through here. We're gonna cut this uh, fence out. We're gonna cut that section out. It's such a pain in the butt to get through. Bring it up here, put it in the stone. Turn it sideways. All right, so we got the plywood set out. Now we uh, got the fence taken off. That'll be a lot easier to come through. Next step, we got to hang plastic over this. Juan's bringing in all the finishing tools. Looking pretty good. Sound What's up? Like Sound like you ready? Robert. Oh, yeah. man. Look at here. He ain't got any chair set up. Hey, man. It's going to cost you. It always costs me. What help are you gonna be? He's gonna play you some music. The what help song, are you supposed to be? The first song. Oh, both flow. I seen a guy in a wheelchair yesterday finishing concrete really? on, on TikTok. Yeah. He'll play you some music. Well, I'm gonna play when that truck he, is here. He said he could wash tools. Song, okay. When the semen comes down, I'm gonna play. Please release me. <laughs> Do you want to tell him to put a little bit more on or what? We're 100% ready. Um, Mike just got here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure it up one more time. We got five and a quarter coming, but I don't know, it should be plenty, but that side is so thick. Might have to tell him to bring a little bit more. My dad is taking off. He's going to get a spray bottle for the, for the form, for the bubble gum release. We spray that on the form liner so the concrete doesn't stick to it. We'll do that right when we, right when the mud gets here. You might be on YouTube with the channel with over about 70,000 subscribers. Yes. Yeah, there you go. It'll get out there. Yeah. This might even help his channel, you know? Yeah. We got a concrete right. guy that plays the accordion. I <laughs> bet they ain't never heard of that before. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's the first. You ready? Go yeah. ahead, hit us on. Do you want. <laughs> Please release me, let me go. What do you think, Juan? <laughs> 84 years old. 84? Yeah. Heck yeah. Hey, good job. Happy, happy, happy. Concrete company decided they were going to come out and, I guess, give us some hats and stuff. How you doing? Good, how are I'm you? Chaney. I'm Bobby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, the you brought us some hats? Everyone's full, yep. I just came through. Appreciate it. There's supposedly not a cement shortage this year I'm taking? None that I'm aware of. Okay. Well, you heard it straight from the horse. Last year, we only had it for uh, about a week and a half. You did? Yeah. Yeah. It's just everything in Marion County and the surrounding counties. And it was, it was because they were doing so many of those state projects. Yeah. They were running out. Yeah. Yeah, so you get yours from uh, the place in Greencastle? Uh huh. What is that? It's Lone Star? or? Well, it used to be called Lone Star. It's called Boozy now. Okay. But I, I think they've sold again. Somebody sold that here, did I haven't Bob. seen that. Here, go to throw a couple on there. I mean, we still like their mud, but we like your mud a little bit better. We haven't used them in a We used them in the spring. When? Where at? Where at? Up in Indianapolis. Yeah. In Indianapolis. On Country Club Road. Yeah. We haven't used them out here. 
they told us they were going to try to service us this year, but that yeah. lasted about a week. <laughs> but the the one reason I do like their mud is they, I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of flash, but they put flash and it's really close, so you got time to work with it. Yep. Well, yours is hot, but it's a good hot. It's like a free six bag. Well, if you want flash, you just let us know. We'll put it in. We like the straight cement look. Okay. Yeah, we the were Brownsburg. having a little bit of problems keeping the air up in the fly ash we were getting because they they ran out. Yeah. You know, and so yeah. you have to try a different manufacturer. Yeah. And uh, the one we were getting, we couldn't we couldn't keep any air in it, <laughs> and uh, so we we were just using that on interior mixes only. So now we've got a good fly ash again, though, so we can start put a little bit of it in the okay in next year. So. It's pretty cool when the guy comes out and brings you hats. We'll get you one, but they're in my dad's truck. Yeah, I got these little bags of retarder I meant to bring. They're, uh, you just put them in like one bags for one yard, so I was gonna put in two just to cool it just a little bit off, but oh well. Spray that form again. All right, then. Take it wide. Working out pretty good so far, guys. this off dad grab that tape we got to tape this up or something this is gonna be hitting the siding and getting it dirty again all right I'll get it <laughs> Block that mud coming out, Dad. Why don't you guys use your come along? Use it as a block. going over my line. There you go. Hold on. Let me just grab one side of it. Juan, put some mud right here. A little bit more. Oh, 
Put some in the middle, Dad. Right here. All right. Can you reach to me just there? I'm gonna float that one more time to flatten it out. Go ahead and set it down. Hold on. Catch it. All right, let me stand up. Feel my grade. Dump it. All right. Here's your come along. I gotta get a drink. Ah, what's that? I know, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, it's actually coming. It's actually finally making some money. Is it? Yeah, I mean, I made a little bit. It took me about a year to get. It took me about eight months to, to where I was making something, but to actually where you're actually making it where it's kind of worth it. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I finally, the last eight months have been pretty good. It's fun to do. Yeah. Positive place to put my energy to. Something in the middle there. Good. All right. There you go. Yep, switch it. Switch directions. Hold on. So reach out to me a little bit. Catch up to me. I'm out. I got one more strike. All I got, bud. All right. Gotta get all those reefs. Huh? Gotta get all that plywood back. Here. Put them in there. Oh, on the top. Right here. Get all that. We are. Heads up, Juan. He's bringing the form in. Oh, well, because our fiber had to get things set. The guys said they were pulling possums out of them. Oh, hell. <laughs> I need some help, Dad. Hold on. I need my level. You got a level back there? All right. Yeah, I'm going to put it from here to there.
Tell her I'll get out of here. All right. You Thank you. Have a lovely day. If you need anything, you let me know. All right. Nice meeting you, Tony. You too. Thanks for the hats. So if I call you, give me good mud. We'll get. We'll do our best to get it up there, buddy. All right. Yep. Just let me know. I appreciate it. I think I should loosen this one to take the. That's beautiful right there. High mud. Let's go. They're spraying off the Georgia buggy. The truck's cleaning out. Spraying off the aluminum board. I'm gonna switch out GoPro batteries. But we got it all down and that mud is hot. It doesn't feel hot, but it's it's all, there's no fly ash in it, so it goes fast. And it's like 85, 90 degrees out here on track day. Anyways, I'm gonna switch out batteries. We'll see you guys in a minute. Well, I switched out GoPro batteries, and I'll tell you what, the one I put in must have not had any battery in it at all, because by the time I caught it, we had already broomed it. But anyways, I caught it with two different cameras, so I promise this isn't going to be boring, and I've made it pretty fast. But I wanted to show you guys the steps we took. Here you see me, I'm cutting the joints with the Cadillac laser beam joiner, and Mike's bull floating. On hot days like this, you don't want to stop that bull float. What he does is he kind of fills in my joints just a little bit, and uh, we'll clean them up one more time and straighten them out. Now what I'm doing is I'm floating this edge. Now you don't have to uh, edge the outside because it's got the form liner but you do have to edge this side here mike is he's running the bull float and pretty cool shot you see he's got the pins on it to give it a little bit of weight because this is going to be like the last bull float we put on it so those pins just give it enough weight to close it all up my dad's floating the front of it and what I'm doing here is I'm using the funny float to close up the wall. If you do it right, you can use the funny float to close up your walls. Um, but like right here, it wouldn't work. So I had to get some concrete and fill it in. And what Mike's doing is he's brooming it all. And I'm, you can see right there, I filled it in a little bit with uh, concrete, made sure it wasn't going to hold any water. And then Mike throws the last couple of brooms on it. And all I got to do is float out my kneeboard marks. Didn't take long, did it? No, sir. The last second to last pole. Or maybe 
Maybe the last one, I don't know. Now you can play the throne, Bob. Huh? There you have it, boys. Now you can play the throne, it's done. Nice light burn finish. Yeah. Get this party started. Looks good. Play my favorite one in heaven there is no beer. Okay. <laughs> in heaven there is no beer. That's why we drink it here. And when we're gone from here, all our friends will be drinking all our beer. <laughs> hey, good job. Happy, happy, happy. I'm a brand new cash concrete hat on one thing I wanted to say guys for real though is you know I took five weeks off and obviously this video wasn't that long it, you didn't have to wait five weeks for it but um, I wanted to say thank you you guys came back strong man you guys came back real strong for me and I really appreciate that some guys take five weeks off and it really hurts the channel some people take five weeks off and it really hurts their channel and for you guys to show me that much love after five weeks off, I just, I just, I want to say thank you. I really do. You guys are awesome. Thanks for rocking with me on these videos. I guess I am a little bit more than just a shorts channel. So, nah, I'm just kidding. But we, yeah, we, we really did. We made a, uh, we made a footprint, guys, in the concrete niche. 75,000 or 75 million views. That's a lot of views. But anyways, I appreciate you guys. Um, make sure you pour early in the morning and don't pour too much. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace!